A new player has entered the Hyperloop game. In July, Canadian startup Transpod unveiled a new ultra-high-speed ground transportation vehicle. The Fluxjet promises to transport passengers and cargo at more than 620 miles per hour. I mean, it's more interesting in metric because it's more than 1,000 kilometers per hour. But I mean, metric. According to the company, the Fluxjet is an electric vehicle that works like an aircraft-train hybrid. The vehicle features leaps in contactless power transmission in a new field of physics called valence flux, which allows it to travel in a protected guideway faster than a jet and three times as fast as a high-speed train. The Fluxjet will operate on the Transpod line, a network with stations in key locations in major cities. The company has some substantial backing with $550 million in confirmed investment. However, the company also announced the next phase, which includes an $18 billion infrastructure project to build the Transpod line in Alberta to connect Calgary and Edmonton. Preliminary construction work, including the environmental impact assessment, has already begun. According to a feasibility study, the project could create up to 140,000 jobs, as well as $19.2 billion to the region's GDP throughout construction. The company unveiled a scaled-down Fluxjet at an event in Toronto. The nearly one-ton Fluxjet showed off its takeoff, travel, and landing capabilities within its guideway. According to the company, which was founded in 2015, riding from Calgary to Edmonton, which are about 186 miles apart, would take just 45 minutes and cost about $70, a little more than half the cost of a plane ticket. In April 2022, Elon Musk said that his boring company would, quote, attempt to build a working hyperloop that would go up to 760 miles per hour and travel from LA to San Francisco, which is about 400 miles apart, in 35 minutes. Hyperloop transportation is no easy feat, particularly for passenger travel. In February, Virgin Hyperloop, which was building a 670 mile per hour Hyperloop, abandoned plans for passenger travel, cut about half its staff, and shifted to a cargo-focused business model. But it still has plans to launch cargo solutions sometime this decade. I'm David Manti. This is IEN Now.